Welcome back to my channel. This is Ashina here. I'm back with a new video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave me a comment before you leave. If you have been coming back to my channel since day one, you're the real MVP. I love you also so much. Okay, today we're going to be getting to this freaking makeup look. Like, I think I really nailed it. I... This is going to be a recreation of a makeup artist slash YouTuber that I watch on my YouTube that I'm su subscribed to and I have on my Instagram. I will link her Instagram and her YouTube in my description box. Check her out till I sent you. Today we're going to be doing a recreation and we're going to just be having fun because we're going to be playing so much color. You see all this color I got on. Hmm. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Don't forget to click the notification bell and let's be besties. Like, hello. Okay, so we're going to just get into this video. Like right now. And I got inspired by a YouTuber that I watch. Her name is The Fashion Freak. Her name is Melly Sanchez, if I'm not mistaken. This is the look that she posted. This is like a Instagram video. I will link her Instagram in the description box and have a pop-up in the cards. I mean, I will link it in the description box so y'all can follow her. She's super dope. Um, I saw that look and I was like, hmm, I think I could recreate that and like put a little spunk on it. We're going to use the Elegant Pro and we are going to apply the eye. I'm gonna go with the Eats My Rare palette. This is my favorite palette. I have a video on this palette. I will link it in the description box. I'm gonna go with, with this shade and I'm gonna go in with the purple shade as well. Both shades together make a nice bluish purple. That's what I put in the crease. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty's pressed powder. I mean, sorry, setting powder in the shade Banana. I've been setting my lids lately and it really been helping my eyeshadow. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a e.l.f. taper brush and we're gonna go in with the first We're gonna go in with the first it's my Rare palette and we're gonna go in with the sunset Which is right here and we're gonna just blend out that crease and give it that little pink look So we're gonna go in back in with the Elegant Pro concealer and we're gonna carve out that crease like we did the eye, the first eye, and we're gonna just carve that out. I don't know for some reason with my left eye, it takes me longer to carve out my crease. I don't know why, I think because I am right-handed. Blend out that crease so it could look more sharper. This one is like more out, a little bit more. Actually, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Um, so now we're gonna set the lid with the Fenty Beauty powder in the shade Banana. You can use any powder, like it doesn't really matter. Um, that's if you like setting your lids. I prefer to set my lids now. At one point I had started, then I stopped setting my lids, but I set my lids because I think the shadows go on more smoother now that I think about it. So now we're gonna go in with the Masquerade palette which we'll be getting the pink shade out of. This shade is called Bori. Right here, Bori. And we are going to go in on the sides. So I'm gonna start out with a flat brush. The flat brush actually packs it on more. I'm gonna go in with the it's my rare palette and I'm gonna go into this yellow shade right here this is called golden girl I'm gonna put that in the center okay so now I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I put in the crease and I'm gonna just blend that out 
because blending is key guys I don't care what colors you use please blend out your edges it will make everything look so much better it wouldn't look like you just smack something in the middle of it it would look like everything is one whether they're the same colors or close to the same colors or not if it's gonna look like everything becomes a one okay just saying so I'm gonna spray my brush this brush and I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop pigment focus I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop pigment this is the shade I think it's full for you okay so now we're gonna go in with the blue liner from NYX I don't know what this is called Okay guys, so I'm done with the eyes and now we're gonna get on to the thighs. Oh um I wanna show y'all this freaking two um I wanna show y'all guys these two foundations that I've been not been I tried it yesterday, it came out fire and I stayed like matte all along. But let's get into some primer first. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauties Pro Filter primer. This is my favorite primer in the whole universe. Like sis the elves pudding primer this is my ish i also go over it with my you know because i do call out my brows so it's good to do that because you don't want to take pictures and you have your concealer concealer still showing like that is not cool okay the two foundations that i've been loving also also so much is the covergirl um yeah cover girl spectrum matte and the color pop together i i don't know if you guys noticed but i have not been using the cover girl because it's not full coverage to me i love the formula formula because it's matte however it's not full coverage to me so i was just like mm, i don't really like it i like it but i don't like it that's why i only used it in that one video when i reviewed it um i will link my review in the description box I have a pop up in the cards Y'all know I love ColourPop, but ColourPop is always sinks into my fine lines and it makes it look so ugly. So I kind of stopped using ColourPop too. And But these two together are bomb official. So I'm in the shade in the spectrum. I'm in the shade, I believe, 420. Nope, I'm in 415. And in the ColourPop, I'm in the shade Deep Dark 190. So if you're close to my shade, then these two will be perfect for you. And if you have the same skin as me, which is I am a very oily girl. I'm oily everywhere. So that would be perfect. What am I looking for? Okay, so I'm going to go in with um, some Maribel, Mario Badescu spray. I want to look health a healthy mat not a dry mat so i'm going to just spray this on my face so i'm gonna let that sink in a little bit and then i'm gonna go wet my beauty blender so I am back I am done with this look if you feel that I know this look please like this video and let me know in the description 
let me know in the comment section i love you guys so much thank you so much for tuning in today and don't forget to check out my other videos i will link everything in the description box i have a pop up in the cards i love you guys so 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 much don't forget to subscribe like comment share don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can notify every time i upload it means a lot when you subscribe the more subscribers the more views the more better for us don't forget to check the description box so y'all could follow the young lady makeup artist that i create this look from and we're gonna get into some slow mos and that's about it see you guys in my next video laters